Is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you're the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bourbeau. Fine. Monsieur de Bourbeau. The emphasis falls on the last syllable. Bourbeau? Mm hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, Monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Nortlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract, yay or nay? Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first, then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. They say sparks bring... Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe?
what the? through. Mm. 
Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores. It is big. Very big. You won't burn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Damn it. Yum could hatch any minute. What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property. The property's falling apart on its own, or with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug them. A large creature. Also killed a few Kikimors down there. They'd managed to lay eggs already. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Did you exterminate them all? Did you burn the eggs? Thought not. I'll not pay you a copper. I must send men down there to deal with the filth as it should be dealt with. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. John Luke went to reconnoiter and never returned. Madame, could you describe Jean Luke? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hmm. Then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Perhaps I can turn these tunnels into an extended cellar. Best cure for the beast, a witcher. It's really stale. Been here a while. Blanket was laid out here. Good vintage. Must have been a special occasion. Someone had a picnic. Two sets. Or something. to 
symbols. Where are you going to lead me? about it. Silver pendant. A lock of hair inside. Same color as Madame de Bourbeau's. throughout the cave. Ah, 
That stench. It by the end of the day. Monsieur de Bobo, can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. This Jean-Luc, he did have a silver pendant. Kept a lock of Madame de Bobo's hair in it, matter of fact. What? But how could she? To be unfaithful to me, a lord and heir with a plow spawned peasant? Oh, she shall pay for this. Don't doubt that, but mind paying me first for services beyond the scope of the contract? There, it'll come out of her dowry. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Hmm, 
Kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Uh-huh. Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. Now, forgive me. I must speak to my wife. Folks say some large armor. Oh, no!